Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the test place update on February 1st. It is now February 2nd as of this recording, so I don't know exactly what's going to be changing or what has changed since then, but you know, it's just... We're going to get right into it. I'm not going to go into in-depth detail as much as I did last time about the this change log. I think I'm going to keep the full change log readings up to the actual in-game updates, like the main game getting updated. For now, though, you guys can go check out this entire changelog here put together by the developers. And honestly, I think I think it's really nice. You guys reading this should definitely show some support to that developer. And let me let me tell you, this probably is a lot of work. Also, feel free to pause the video at any time to read it or go check it out yourself. It's actually going to be in a Google form this time. It's not on its own as a link. It's a uh, all in one place in one Google form. This is actually the feedback form. So go check that out before I even get into the video, though, as well. I want you guys to know one thing for sure. The thing is, is that we're going to be playing in the Phantom Forces test place, okay? Not everything in the test place is subject to go to the main game. And the developers want your feedback. So if you have something to say, or you have a, some sort of thing to tell them, please open up this Google form and go and give them your feedback. I will leave both the test place and the feedback form in the description below, okay? Anyways, I'm going to quickly just scroll through the majority of this. The main thing here is obviously the new assault rifle that's going to be a rank 116 unlock. It is, uh, um, I've tried it a little bit already. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It is, it is a very interesting gun. Then there's a lot of, some balance changes going on and other things like that. So just, again, be on the lookout for all these things. I, I really hope they put a change log together for the main game's update when it does come out. If you guys don't know, they're actually coming out with an update called Phantom Forces War Bonds. And within the first week, they're going to have the call for block sea of five style uniforms for all the characters as well as they're gonna have the stg 44 coming out with it for on the first week of the update something like that i might be getting that wrong and if i'm getting that wrong please let me know in the comments below but for now i believe i'm correct on that anyways let's finally get over into some gameplay and there it is guys it, the beautiful german gun the stg 44 look at that it is the model for this actually looks beautiful. The iron sights pro are probably going to be painful to look down, I'm not even going to lie. I just remember playing with the STG in other games, and oh man, is it painful to look down those iron sights occasionally. We can also defile history if we really wanted to with some crazy stuff like, I don't know, like a reef, uh, like a furry sight, a furrow sight here, or the hand sight, or just this, uh, this in general is just defiling history, but that's okay. That's okay. You know what? As much as I love history... It's also okay, because this is also a video game. <laughs> uh, here's a quick little scroll through the advanced stats. I'm not going to go through them too hard. I'm just going to kind of like relax. And uh, as you can see, sight accuracy is not looking good. <laughs> it is not looking good whatsoever. But one thing that we do want to look at, obviously, right off the bat, is going to be that penetration depth. Basically, most of the weapon weapon ballistics is what we want to look at right now. It looks pretty decent to me just by looking at this. I mean, damage range 45 to uh, 45 studs to 170 studs for that slope, 46 damage, uh, and, and it's 46 damage up to 45 studs and 26 damage overall at when it flatlines. That's pretty good. All, as well as we want to look at the everything in the basic stats that it gives us as well. So that fire rate of 500 is not going to be great. It's not going to be the best thing ever. But the gun also appears to hit like a truck. So we will definitely figure out how this feels in a moment. All right. Let's take a look at that inspect here. <laughs> I love I love this inspect. And I love the gun in general so far. The normal reload animation. ADS. Okay, nice, nice. What if I fully empty a magazine? What's that animation going to look like? Okay, the animation's not too bad, actually. I actually really like that animation as well. I'm sorry if the first part of that video there looked choppy. I didn't have my Roblox FPS unlocker on, so that may have played a role in making the video look more bad. I don't know exactly. It's, it's, it's whatever. Also, we're playing on a revamped version of Metro, and to be honest, I'm already kind of digging the way that this one looks. Okay, okay. I, I am still new to the STG. You can leave me alone, guys. Please, jeez. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I am trash. Anyways, as I was saying though, yeah, I my Roblox FPS unlocker was not on, so that could have played a role in the quality of the video. I'm not too sure. Also, if, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed yet, but yeah, they look different now. I mean, I think I'm on the German team right now is basically what it's supposed to be looking like right now, and then the enemy team I'm going against is the American team, I believe. The thing about the SCG is that it may not fire fast, but it does hit really hard, and it feels like the recoil, it kind of, you know where it goes as long as you fire it at a wall. But then the thing is, is like, you can, you can aim, but your, 
your like ADS doesn't necessarily show it perfectly exactly what's going on. I'll, I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, hopefully I don't die here by showing this, but like watch this, right? So I'm just going to hold left trigger without even controlling the recoil. And I'm only going to do it for a little bit because the gun's fire rate is too low to be able to see all the bullet holes in the wall. As you can see, like it goes up and then it stays in a area like the spread doesn't go too crazy. So as long as I fire below this guy, I would have been firing right at him. It's the spread that you're going to have to just pray to RNGs Jesus for. But other than that, you're really going to be pretty much fine as long as you have that first initial bounce. And let me tell you, that first initial bounce sometimes is kind of crazy. And don't worry, we definitely will be getting some attachments on this STG-44. But right now, we're just playing it with it with the default attachments. Because I, I want to play with the default attachments. That's basically all it is. I also don't have enough credits to show you guys the 5.56 conversion. But basically, that turns it into the STG-N. And if you guys want to go back in the video and pause on the change log, it'll tell you all the statistics of the 5.56 ammo. Which I also believe improves the accuracy of the gun. Which, if that's the case, that might actually be a pretty solid ammo conversion. See, it's all about that one bounce. You get the initial bounce and everything should be alright. This Metro 2.0 map, I, I'm kind of liking it so far, to be honest. Okay, it's, it's, it's going good. It's all about that initial jump, honestly. Alright, here we go. You know, it, it's, it's alright at range, but I feel like I would definitely rather use this gun in closer ranges, just because that recoil is like, kind of crazy. Oh, that's different. I kind of like that, though. That is very different. As long as you get that first initial jump, though, like, the gun's alright. I don't know, it's... It's a weird-feeling gun, but I like it and I dislike it at the same time. Like, it's... I don't know how to explain it. It hits hard, but that recoil is a little bit meh. I don't, I don't know. It's really solid, though. Like, I don't... It's just... I don't know what to say. I, I don't. I really don't know what to say about it. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it my typical... Uh, reduced recoil setup now. So, I will see you guys here in a second once I apply a bunch of attachments onto this bad boy. Unfortunately, with my credits, I don't have enough to actually afford an optic, so maybe I'll just unlock one and use that later. But right now, we have the compensator, sideways grip, green laser, and the default ammo type to make the side accuracy go up to 15. And we're going to go ahead and get in game to see what this looks like. I also, when I was looking at my, these stats for the grips, it was interesting to me that the sideways grip actually gave it the most side accuracy after, out of all the other grips. That was a first for me. Why are my own teammates shooting at me? That was making me confused for a second there. In my honest opinion, I like the SCG-44. But like I said, it, you know, I know throughout this entire video, I've been saying, I like it, I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it. But it's just like, ah, it's, it's one of those guns that it's like, I can see myself using it for fun. And I'm probably still going to use it a lot when it comes out and like get a lot of attachments and other things on it and all that, whatever. But it's just like... The gun to me at the moment is kind of like, meh, mm, it's alright, I guess. I mean, as long as you get that initial kick, like, like this right here, not really like that. Okay, you know, just, just pretend that didn't happen for a second, please. <gasps> but as long as you get used to the recoil, I'm pretty sure the gun's going to be okay. And as long as you use it in closer quarter maps, I think it's going to be alright. It's not that it's bad at, like, range, but it's just, it's not great either. Like... You're not going to be getting kill feeds long range with this gun is what it feels like. I mean, you still could, but not a ton of them is basically what I'm trying to say. It's it's not one of those guns that has zero recoil sort of thing. But to be fair, though, if this gun had zero recoil, if you, or if you could get it to zero recoil, it could be pretty broken if you ask me. I mean, a gun that hits this hard? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you guys, it's all about that initial first bullet jump. A lot of guns actually have that initial bullet jump where, it, like, if I just hold down the left trigger, it bounces up and then it stays in that area up there. That's what I'm trying to get at. It's just a one bullet, bounce up, and then it stays in the general area. As long as you compensate for that bullet jump at the very first bullet, then I believe you'll be able to control this recoil. I guess my ultimate opinion on the STG, though, is that it's an awesome gun. I like it a lot, pretty much. I, I don't know. That's uh, that's my that's my final decision on it. It's, like, really fun to play with, but it's not, like... Let's say that you're going for, like, a sweaty try-hard game where you're going to be hitting hundreds of kills. I personally don't think that a lot of players would be trying to get that with an STG-44 is what I'm trying to say, basically. Still a fun and amazing gun, though. I gotta, I gotta give it my own rating right there, and my rating is that it's, it's alright. It's alright. It's definitely an okay gun. The gun hits hard, I just gotta say that, and the fact that it can hit so hard is one of my favorite things about it. 
it's just satisfying to hit two bullets into somebody and watching them fall after just two bullets. That time I did not compensate for the first bullet. That was that was not great. I don't play the test place a lot or that often either though, so experiencing this map for the first time is pretty cool. I gotta say though, Metro 2.0 as a map, I, I like it. I like it a lot already. Alright, I believe that this is going to be my last life. I've been dying a lot and I've just been having a blast playing with STG44. I recommend that you guys go hop in game and experience it for yourself. It's pretty fun so far. I like the gun. I don't know if you guys do, but if you guys do, let me know in the comments. If you guys don't, let me know in the comments. And also, let me know why, because I'm really curious to see what you guys think in the comments. With this gun, I feel like you could still hit quite a few feeds. I feel like it's a really solid gun, but high kill games, I don't know about. That's the problem. I don't know if this is a high kill game gun. That's, that's literally just all it is about. I'm going to die here if I keep this up. I am alive still, somehow. How did I not die? There were so many enemies in one area. That was scary. Oh, this is cool. Oh. That's a different area. That's for sure. Uh, maybe I should take it back. Honestly, this gun can do decently at some ranges. I don't know how to feel, man. This gun is just so different. It's just... I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain how I feel about the gun. I, I want to give it like a rating in my opinion, but it's just one of those guns where it's like I feel like I got to play with it for a long period of time, get like 2,000 kills on it, and, to, and then like get my full attachment build on it, and then let you guys know what I think. But yeah, you know, I, ignore what I said about rating the gun. I know that I probably said it's good and bad multiple times in the video, but I made my mistake of trying to rate it early on. That's what it is. But from my early impressions of the gun, it's really solid from close to medium quarter ranges, and if you can somehow, if you, and if you can somehow control recoil at the ranges of long range, or like anywhere above like 150 studs, then the gun can be pretty insane. It can be pretty crazy. But that's just kind of my first impressions on it. Really solid gun, but I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be up there with like the go-to guns for a, a, a high kill games. Not saying that it isn't possible, because it very well is. Anyways, that is going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I enjoyed making it. The STG-44 is a wonderful gun. I My final impressions on it for the time being until it comes down to the main game. I get to play with it a lot. I got to say, really solid. I don't know. It's it's decent overall. That, that's just going to be where I keep it, okay? It's decent overall. I'm sorry for being confusing and being like, it's amazing, it's trash, it's amazing, it's trash. But yeah, it's definitely an overall okay gun. That's it. Okay, I'm not saying if it's good or bad anymore. It's just definitely okay. But yeah, go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys want to leave a comment about it, please, as well. That would be nice because I want to see your guys' opinion on it as well. And don't forget to leave feedback for it, too, if you realize really want to. Remember, I have the test place and the feedback form all in the description below of this video. So make sure you guys go check that out as well. But that's going to be all for the video, guys. Hope to see you guys in the next one. I love you all. And I haven't said this yet. And I feel like I should have said this before. But thank you guys so much, so much. It means the world to me that we've hit 100 subscribers on this channel. You guys mean the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next one.